Last year, the community of Bosejou was a witness to some backfilling along an area of swamp. Jim Joseph, president of the Bosejou community group, who labeled the backfilling as indiscriminate, says it has resulted in flooding. He says the active hurricane season prompted the group of concerned citizens into action to clear the debris. That area is prone to flooding, and since the backfilling took place, um, we have had excessive flooding in the area. Um, up to sometimes four feet of water along the main Julian Hunts um, Drive. So we felt that it was necessary to act immediately because of the active hurricane season and the fact that this was an access area into Boseju Phase 2 and also access in and out of the community via the uh, Boseju Main Road and Kaimaje Main Road. The president says the decision was made to include all stakeholders in order to approach the problem holistically. He says simply looking at drainage is not the answer. We didn't just want the area to, um, for, for whoever is um, undertaking works in the area to just do drainage in the area. Because that hasn't been the problem in the past where persons just do an assessment of the flooding in the area by looking at the main road. So what we did, we took a tour of the swamp area. Joseph hopes that the camaraderie shown in the build-up to the project will be replicated in the future when other issues arise in the area. And we think that this is a model, this is the approach that we should have um, going forward in anything that we do, not just in terms of disaster risk management, in disaster risk mitigation, but also in other social um, activities are things that affect um, not just human life but livelihoods as well. Joseph says meetings will continue to be held to assess the progress and determine the future steps as the project moves forward. Colby DeVoe, HDS News Force.